Test, test, test. Okay, should be working fine. So, hi everyone, welcome to my channel, Hisam Artwork. Um, it is summer and I am on my hilltop farm. Um, so, let me start the tour. You guys asked to see how uh, it looks. Um, as you can see, I'm still having some things to work on. Uh, that is my dog retextured as a fox. I can get there to pet him. Yep, there it is. So the husbandry mod has updated and now I have a feeding basket and the dog eats beef. So I'm gonna get a little piece of beef here for him. Uh, maybe I can get him... Ah, oh, you couldn't see. It's... Uh, was between the flowers, but you can feed him, like you put the bowl in front and uh, then he will eat. Uh, no, you put the basket on the on the dog. So, uh, a lot of things have updated, the Smoppy, the Space Core mod, a whole bunch of other stuff, so for example, my textures for the seasonal map for the obelisks are not working anymore and I have to check out those and see what the issue is. Um, in other uh, news, um, I've retextured all of my trees uh, to look like they have fruits in the summer because I love the idea, so some of them are still gonna produce in the season that they produce, but the cherry, for example, is not going to give me any cherries because the cherry tree does cherries only in the spring and the pomegranate tree does fruit only in the autumn. And so does the um, apple. But orange, you can see I'm getting oranges and I'm getting peaches as usual. Um, let me show you my a cave here. So the mushrooms here are still producing and wine and uh, pickles. Uh, here I need to correct the um, carpet and some other things. I'm gonna do a jewelry shop here uh, because of mining stuff. Here nothing else has changed much. I have uh, animated those but um, uh, I haven't gone uh, the time to install them as well, so... Uh, let me show you the greenhouse. So I have gotten a expansion uh, for the um, um, uh, map since uh, the spring, I've shown you then. Uh, there's still some textures, I want to tweak the colors, for example these extra trees are from um, uh, a mod. All the links are on my blog. Um, I do want to change some of the textures. I have already on some, like I put papaya down and cocoa down here because that's where they usually grow, not up. Uh, obviously the modder didn't, wasn't able to change where the, the fruit spawn. Um, I've adjusted the um, gardens here a bit, so I'm making this my uh, herb garden and this is going to be the berry garden and there are going to be some other things there. Uh, I've talked in my other videos how I made the dragon fruit tree, how I've adjusted it so it looks uh, more like a cactus tree type of thing because it looked like a normal tree before and it actually looks different. It looks, if you google it, uh, it looks kind of like a giant cactus tree type of thing. Uh, it's still a work in progress, I haven't had the time to uh, do all the things I want to do here. Um, still working on um, my main projects. Um, uh, usually I come into Stardew Valley just to, you know, relax and have some fun. I did a seasonal tree, if you remember in the winter it was a um, giant holly tree and in the spring it was kind of a, a blooming willow tree, pink one, and in the autumn it's a, a giant mushroom tree. So like I said, the earth obelix is no longer looking as I want it to look, like it's supposed to be a tree, but 
it looks like the vanilla version and I have to update the mods to see what else is actually happening there, what the problem is, what the bugs are. Um, because th that's how it is, like, there's so many interdependent mods um, and whenever one updates or the Smoppy updates, like the other ones have to update as well. And There's always this period uh, when you update something that something else is not going to work. Uh, here I have rice, cotton, um, the three giant crops, these last forever. Uh, peppers, pineapple, red cabbage, sugarcane, radish, blueberries, cassava. Cassava is a mod, so is the raspberry, so is the sugarcane, and so are the pineapples. Uh, in the original mod they grow in spring, but I changed them to summer and I made a video tutorial on how to edit your crops if you want to. Uh, these are the chickens here the chicken coop uh, they got out anyway I'm not gonna save this day and here they are for the turkeys uh, I changed the sheep to llamas I haven't had time to do much here there are so many crafting machines I want to add and uh, they're not working too well so I need to wait for them to work uh, that's, that's the vanilla loom. I want another one. Let's see if I have it. Um, so this butter churn is a mod. Uh, what else? I oh, the lamps are finally working since the last update. I'm so glad because they weren't working and I needed them for the desert where I want to do a holiday destination. Uh, make it kind of a tropical resort where I can go in the winter because I'm so tired of the winter. I live in Michigan um, and I don't want to go through um, Stardew Valley winter as well. So a lot of these are not working at the moment. Um, there are some conflicts between the mods. I'm kind of trying to figure them out. When I do, I will put them in the game and kind of explain to you guys if you're having trouble installing them as well uh, I will try to do a tutorial for you as usual you know let me know what your problems are and I'll do my best to help you okay I made a path through the woods here um, so I retextured the slimes to look like uh, cats. Some of the mod is available on Nexus Mods. Um, I was surprised that nobody thought to do this after two years. Maybe they did and I missed it. I don't know. Uh, I have the Swim Anywhere mod. Oh. <laughs> I thought I could jump there like that but I wasn't able to. Uh, cows, goats, the retextured. Uh, I can feed them as well, and the cows eat amaranth, so I'm gonna take one of those out. So maybe you didn't see the um, the dog, but maybe you'll see the cow how it looks. You see that? <laughs> and it only works once, so I gotta be careful to catch it. I'm gonna cut some of the grass so you can see better. Okay, I think it ate apples. Okay, so already fed it. Doesn't want any now. Okay, so that one was fed as well. I think the cow uh, didn't eat uh, the other one. So I'm gonna try. Yep, there it is. I think the animation is a bit too short. I would like it to be longer. Uh, so this is how I decorated the inside of the um, barn. I still need to change it to the lamp I had in in the spring. Uh, I forgot to do that for this video. Because it has plants on it and it doesn't really make sense to have that inside. 
Uh, now the Junimos can harvest the trees as well, so I have a mod that um, allows them to harvest trees and also to plant trees closer together, together and still be fruiting. Uh, the issue is, as you can see, he's a lot more energetic and uh, when I tell them to turn off the um, uh, collecting of the crops, uh, that function does not work anymore, so uh, there are some bugs there. Um, and I wanted to show you that I have a mod now that allows me to show some news. News report. Hisame Studios' new animation is pure Oscar bait. Um, so what it is, I want to do a mod in which I can have a cartoon channel on the TV. So like now you have this extra news report channel and I would like to have a cartoon channel. Uh, I have messaged the modder to uh, let me use his files to do that. He has not responded. I don't think he's uh, even active on Nexus mods anymore, which is a shame because uh, he wrote there that he doesn't allow other people to use his stuff unless he gives permission, but he's not replying to give permission, which is too bad that you forbid people to do nice things unless they uh, get your permission and then you're not available to give it. Um, too bad. Um, also, he put the files on GitHub, but he didn't put all of them. Uh, I asked the programmer f to help me out to get those files, and I figured, you know, I would try to make the mod, and maybe by the time I finish the mod, uh, he will answer the messages. But um, he didn't put all the files there, so. Uh, and also, a lot of the programming, um, what the other programmer told me, wasn't very good. Uh, was very disorganized. It was hard to find anything, and, um, um, and because some of the files were missing, it didn't put uh, put them all there. Um, it would be impossible for the other programmer to kind of figure out what he did and to do the mod in a reasonable amount of time. So. I'm sad to say that uh, the cartoon channel mod will probably never be made um, because I don't know how to program and to learn how to program would take too long. I'm just a graphic artist. so It's really sad that I had to abandon this project. I mean, I wish uh, I would be able to do it, to have a a cartoon channel and a uh, gardening channel. Um, and there's the custom NPC mod, which would have been really awesome if I could make an NPC of myself to be a like garden designer. Uh, a lot of the people in the group, the Stardew Valley group that I hang out in, they were joking, oh, I would love to hire you as my gardener, you know, when the multiplayer comes out, can you come and help me design my uh, garden and I thought it was a really neat idea and in case I didn't have time I would have a NPC to do that uh, you know a mod and you would install it and there would be someone to kind of give gardening advice like that I would have loved that idea but unfortunately uh, I don't think I'll be able to do it either if that mod gets abandoned I don't know maybe the modders will come back when uh, the third update comes, I don't know, we'll see. I hope I can do all those things that I want to do. It would be so nice. There's a, a mod that um, allows you to uh, have an inn, like a hotel, which I thought was really nice. Uh, and you can put like a bunch of custom NPCs there. Because a lot of people have created custom NPCs. Um, I think there are about 15 now on, on Nexus Mod and, and Starbound forums. So again, these are the cats, cat slimes, and I'm doing kind of a cat cafe here. I'm not sure exactly what I'm gonna do. This is how it looks on the inside. I have one yellow slime there. Let's see if I can 
I'll get in and show you guys. I did a little tutorial on how to take care of your slime, like you need to feed them with water and they come out of the um, egg slime incubator and what these other green slimes are and the slime press, so you can go check that out. I try to make a new video each week, um, put it on YouTube, so you might want to subscribe to that so you don't miss it. Uh, here are some extra red grapes and green grapes that I've made, custom crops. Uh, there's a mod that adds a winery building. Um, the wines are still purple, all the bottles, but let's see with the custom machines if that mod ever works. Like, I can do different types of wine. Uh, I don't actually drink wine because I don't like uh, the smell of alcohol and a lot of the rotten uh, plant and cheese stuff, but I know a lot of people like it and I would love to do that for them and have fun uh, with them. Um, there is a mod that lets you do all kinds of lemonades, so I would like to do a lemonade shop here. Let's see if it uh, it works. Last time I checked it worked. Lemonade. Uh, uh, this must be a recipe and you make it in the kitchen, I don't remember. Lem uh, how did I make it? I think it worked. Maybe I took out that mod because it had issues. Can't remember. I had so many mods, and a lot of them weren't working. Hmm. I think this is one from the 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 kitchen. Gonna go inside the house. But I think I don't have the recipe yet, so I would need to go to um, P Pierre. Uh, sorry, to Gus. Yep, I don't have the recipe. Let's see. I think we have time. Oh yeah, I didn't show you this part of the map, so I have peacocks there. The they are the retextured chickens. And I think I'll switch it with the ducks because the ducks leave those green feathers and it could be like what the um, peacock is producing. Like it would make more sense to me that you would harvest fancy feathers from a peacock. So I think that's what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch the textures up between the two and turn the blue chickens into swans, I don't know, doesn't make much sense that way either. <laughs> oh, and that, those are the, that's the bunny, and um, I have the um, breed like rabbits mod installed, so he should be making a lot more bunnies, but I think it takes a while before that activates. You can, however, I think you can uh, hurry that up and by inseminating. Uh, and you inseminate it with the um, product that it produces. Let's see, where are you? <laughs> Wool consumed. Okay, and so now it is pregnant nine days until birth. And I'm curious if it will make me one bunny as it is normal or if it will make me 12 bunnies like the breed like rabbits mod does. So I'm gonna have to find out. Uh, and here it says two days until it will want a treat and bunnies eat cabbage and cave carrots if I remember correctly. So these are the Junimos here and they're collecting stuff. I keep telling them not to but this resets every day and the next day they start collecting so I don't think it's working as it should that mod. So I had a whole bunch of more recipes installed. Um, the machines weren't working properly and they're giving me a lot of errors so I just took out some of the machines. But, uh, oh it's not the right time yet. It opens at 12. Uh, what was I saying? Yeah. Let's see. 
Okay, so I have to wait for Gus to come and then I can buy some more recipes from him. Come on, Gus. So I'm retexturing the whole town at the moment. Um, I'm kind of pretending that uh, I got elected as mayor since uh, George wasn't doing such a great job. Where are you going, Gus? Tuesday? Is this something happening Tuesday? I want to buy recipes, Gus. Where'd you go? Okay. Oh, he's going to the community center on Tuesdays? So I can't buy anything on Tuesdays? I had completely forgotten about this. Yeah, so a lot of the characters uh, work less when you save the the town. Well, that's a bummer. Okay, where else can I buy recipes from Sandy? Warp locations... We'll go to Sandy then. Maybe the soda recipes there. I want to change the, how the desert looks. I'm still trying to figure out how to do that. Okay, oh, strawberry grapefruit tea. That's nice. But that's all the recipes that you're selling today. Hmm. Yeah, it takes a few days before they install those. Uh, and here, I haven't done the quest yet, so uh, I have gotten a request for that. I'll probably do it next week. Uh, I'm gonna show you guys um, how to do the quest to get the, the um, sword and all the other things. looking for a mod on how to install certain... yeah, when you teleport like that, it, uh, you have two pams. Because I cheated. Uh, to m add some extra trees there, maybe I'll just uh, build them. I think it's easier than to, to find a way to plant them, because in the winter... What is there? Oh, there's a chicken. Because in the winter they will turn... Uh, with snow on them if you plant one of the pine trees or something like that. In the desert it will have snow on it in the winter even though it's in the desert. So I'm gonna try and figure out another way. There is a mod that expands the desert but it seems it has been abandoned which is too bad. Uh, and I'll try and see if I can resurrect that. If not, oh, that's the way it is. So, thank you guys for watching. Hope I've answered the questions that you had for me. If you have any more questions or suggestions, you can leave them in the comments below. Um, all the mods that I've used, uh, they will be linked in the, um, on my blog. Uh, so, yeah. I don't think I had anything else to add except, you know, subscribe, follow, uh, and so you, you're updated with what else I do, or if you want something else, or if you are a programmer and want to help me with all the mods that people have asked me, that would be great. Uh, if not, uh, hope um, I get answers on on Nexus, like they reply to my requests and they become more active. I'm hoping after the third update, like a lot of the modders will check back to Nexus and be like, hey, somebody uh, wants to do a mod with my stuff and I can help them because a lot of people like the idea and we can cooperate and make this awesome mod. So, yeah, fingers crossed. Uh, thank you for watching. Hope you've enjoyed it, hope it answered your questions, and uh, see you in the next video. Bye bye!